Hello, this is Cast Blue, and welcome to more Golden Sun! After entirely too much searching, because I'm an idiot, I finally found what I, what I was looking for. It's this conjoined ring. In the sand area immediately before the sand waterfalls start, which, if we use Reveal, gives us a Ginny! Yay! Which, a Ginny, unlike just about every other Ginny we've encountered in this way thus far, of course I get into a battle right before that happens. You know, just, no, don't, don't worry about her and, ah, whatever. Um, bam. Just, just whatever. <laughs> That's a little annoying, but what you gonna do? Use reveal again because it broke it. And uh, as I was saying, we don't need to fight this one. I'm pretty sure this is because we use reveal to find it. And generally, uh, with one or two exceptions, you don't need to fight things that you find with reveal. But hey, we got Smog, which does exactly what it sounds like. It inflicts delusion on the target it hits, and it is an attacking uh, Ginny. Oh wait, I gained, um, well, a lot of stuff, but Ward, which is basically the defensive version of Impact. And also you can see Bind there, which like I said, is not very good. But look at that, well, actually, that's not as big an increase as I thought it would be. I think his agility might not have updated properly, or... You know, I don't know. Whatever. He's really fast, okay? Just take my word for it. You know, I should probably... Yeah. Oops. Well, you probably heard that. Um... I just had an antivirus scan finish, and what the hell is going on at the bottom of my screen? Okay, stop doing that. That was... that was worrying. Um... Box? Right, you know, I just need to run over here. And through, you know, I could just meet you at the end, probably, but I guess I'm not doing that, apparently. For whatever reason. Yeah, forget what I said before about having to backtrack here later. I was thinking of something in a... not even in this game, actually. You don't... While there is some backtracking you want to do in this game, you, there should be no time where you need to do it to this desert specifically. Uh... That said... Time to... No, no. Too early. We still have another... We still have more sand waterfalls to go through first. I need to not get ahead of myself like that. Um, hopefully we won't take da more damage before we get to the end. Hopefully. Ah, we made it! Yeah, these sand waterfalls are actually pretty lenient. The one- the next game has a similar section to this, but it's a lot harder. Like, a lot harder to actually just solve everything. Uh, but I digress. Let's just get that out of the way so we can do that. And then it's time to fight the Matacore! Which is, you know, kind of big and scary. Um, a little bit. Hmm. It's weak against water, but as I said before, we aren't going to really be taking advantage of this. Because by far, it is most useful with Maya to have to wish available. Especially at this point of the game. Later on, we'll be able to be a little more fast and loose with using our Ginny on her. I mean, as we get more Ginny too, that'll help. But for now, the point of game we're in, it's the just the best way to use her. Hands down, even. Uh, let's use Ragnarok, and let's use Forge. This'll probably deal- yeah, I boosted- I- I- 
Isaac's eh, can't talk attack power, so that increases Ragnarok's power as well, because it's a physical based synergy. Uh, okay, that didn't poison him, but it could have. Um, I don't really care about boosting my defense that much, to be honest. Um, I do care about resistance, though. Um, yeah, I should use Wish. And I can definitely use Flint. I say I don't care about defense. I don't care about individual defense increases, I should say, rather. Just using Gareth's Ginny is more than enough, usually. Uh, although, really, this boss isn't that hard, truth be told. Um, I forgot it did that. Man, if it had cursed me, that would have actually really sucked. Um, like, it would have really, really sucked. Uh, I can use, actually use Ice Thorn, because I don't need to heal anyone. Uh, I'm gonna use that so I can summon Ramses, and that so that I can summon Tiamat. And unfortunately, I'm probably gonna kill the Manticore before I can use Ivan's level 4 summon. Uh, just throwing that out there for you now. But, you know, I guess it doesn't hurt to shoot for it. Oh wait, now I definitely need it. Well, maybe need is the wrong word. What? Don't wrap- well, actually, it doesn't matter if he's wrapped in a delusion, does it? Because I have a Ragnarok! <laughs> um, let's use Gust. Let's use Wish. Let's use Ramses. And let's use Tiamat. My summons will probably finish him off, because as I've mentioned before, summons deal more damage based on the HP of their target. Their ma the max HP, that is. Which is why they're so damn good against bosses. Uh, and then that happens. That was a little bit underwhelming, to be honest. I mean, I literally did more damage with Flint than I did with Ramses. Uh, that one was more expected, to be honest. Since the Manticore is highly resistant to fire, and apparently Earth as well, which I didn't know, but... You know, you learn something new. Um... Icehorn... Ragnarok... Um... Douse. Douse isn't going to do any damage. I may as well just use, like, Heat Wave. Heat Wave isn't going to be very effective either, but at least I have a big, heavily boosted firepower, so I may as well use that, you know? Ragnarok should hit like a truck, though. Oh, yeah. Okay, if that didn't kill it, then I'm actually going to get to use Ivan's Summon. Awesome. Oh, Ivan's poison. That's unfortunate. Uh, I'm still gonna use Thor, God of Jupiter. Um, because Thor is awesome. It's why. Uh, although, I should probably do something about that poison. Truth be told. Or I'm gonna just wait until after the battle, actually. Poison actually does a lot of damage. Potentially. But I think I'm probably gonna kill him. So let's try to get away with not healing until after the it until after the battle is over. Son of a bitch! Damn it, Isaac! I was so close to using Thor! <laughs> okay, you know what? Oh wait, first of all, I need to use Cure Poison. Uh, second of all, 
I'm gonna leave these on set so I can show freaking show off Thor, because I'm a little bit pissed off now that that happened. A little bit. Hmm. I actually could have probably finished him off with a water shiny pretty easily as well. Oh well. What you gonna do? It's not it's really not that important. What is important is showing off Thor though, I guess. Nope. And we're on the world map again! Honestly, that wasn't as long as I thought it was. I mean, it was still fairly long, but I remembered it being a lot longer. Uh, okay then. Uh, where do we want to go from here? Let me think. Let me think. Oh, I know where we want to go. I remember. We want to go right here to this little island that seemingly does nothing. Why do you ask? Well, simple. There's a Venus Ginny! That caught me by surprise. Um, I'm really glad that wasn't on Ivan, because he doesn't have any of his Ginny set. And that would have kind of sucked. Little bit. Uh, let's just kill it, though. I don't even care about finishing off with a Wind Ginny. I sort of sabotaged myself in that regard from the get-go, to be honest. Not when I can use Thor, God of Jupiter! Yeah, that'll probably just, yep, fell it right up off the bat. And I got Flare Storm to boot, cool. Okay, so, which Ginny is this? It is Vine. Okay, I am pretty damn sure Vine is, is the one that lowers the a target's speed. So let's check. Yes, it drops agility and it deals damage. To all. Maybe it doesn't deal damage. No, I'm pretty sure it deals a little bit of damage and it affects all uh, enemies. Look at them increases. And also, I learned Gaia! You remember Gaia, right? I'm pretty sure I showed it off. Well, now I have it. On Isaac, which... Actually, I didn't... I thought Gaia did... Or, Ivan didn't... Eh, I can't talk. I thought Isaac didn't get this. Huh. Well, I guess I was wrong when I said that. Oh well. I have it now. And it's basically... Well... To call it the strongest synergy is a witted statement. Strictly speaking, Ragnarok is almost always going to deal more damage, just because of the way the damage is calculated. But in terms of the raw, um, of the raw base damage, before you factor in the boost from various ratios, Gaia is the best Earth synergy just for its base damage. Uh, anyway. Uh, I need to heal. And then, I'm pretty sure I want to go somewhere over here. Or, no I don't, I want to go straight up. Basically. But, I'm going to look over here first, because I don't remember if there's anything over here. There's probably not, but I'm going to look anyway. Or, I say that, but I may have just fibbed. Uh, and these are new, aren't they? Hmm. I mean, they're sort of new. They're old things based on a new... Or they're new things based on old concepts. But they aren't very strong. And also, Isaac is faster than Maya again. No, they're exactly the, the bloody same. Damn it, come on, don't do this to me. Well, I'm gonna do this, because as I explained uh, quite a while ago now, I think, it's actually better to not have these two beside each other because of the way damage distribution works in Golden Sun. Okay, we are going to just go straight up. No, no we're not because this is an island. Um, I, where the hell is the thing I want? Okay, what is over here? 
I'm thinking it's probably nothing, but now I need to freaking check, because man, I just have no idea. I'm kind of lost here. Just a little bit. Oh, an antidote. I mean, I know where I eventually want to get, I just don't remember how to get to it. Uh, okay, there's nothing over here, it looks like. Mad vermin are not very threatening. They kind of just... Oh, I forgot they did that. Well, whatever. Okay, so it's worth mentioning. Right now, my agility between Isaac and Maya is kind of screwed up. But I'm pretty sure Isaac will eventually have better agility than Maya. Because he ha has better... Um... Yeah, there's nothing over here. Because Isaac has better uh, ratios for agility than she does. So he should eventually come ahead slightly just from that. At least that's what I'm really... They summon other bees? Man, I totally forgot they did that. How convenient. More bees means more experience. And money, I suppose. Anyway. Anyway, hopefully I can find that freaking bridge I'm looking for. For the correct bridge. I know it's around here somewhere. Just apparently not where. Okay, so I'm gonna need to remember to show you the next battle because I haven't just leveled up and learned a new synergy, uh, which is actually a fun one. Oh, hey, there's a town here. I guess I'll go in here first. Oh, yeah. We're gonna be going to that cave for not quite a while. Just so you know. Uh, anyway. We are in Kill... Cat... Kale. Just, let's just go with Kale. I don't think that's quite correct, but, you know, whatever. Um... Okay, well, this is a huge improvement over the Blessed Ankh, and it'll kind of suck to lose the ability to seal synergy, but it's usually better to go for forward damage on your weapons over utility, uh, which is usually. Actually, I'm just curious. Uh, nope. I doubt any of that can even out-damage what I currently have equipped it. Now then, I need to make a quick change here. This needs to be a reveal, and this needs to be a mind read. Excuse me. You see, because... Reveal! You see that sparkling there? It tells us there's something in the pot. Reveal is the most useful and most spammiest ability that we will have in this game. Bar none. People went to Lord, or people say Lord Hammett went north from Vault after Mount Alpha corrupted. No one knows what happened to him or his caravan after that. I can't put the rumors about Lord Hammett being captured by thieves out of my head, but the Lord's wife, Lilayana, speaks little of it. Okay, so this must be where Ivan is from. What? Oh, wrong button. Sparkles! Eleven coins. whoop de doo My son received his knack for business from Lord Hammett. The most important skill for a merchant is the ability to discern quality. Anyone can do that. Anyone who can do that can be a successful merchant these days. If you say so, um... Uh... I want this shop. Armor! The China dress. I'm not buying the China dress. It's actually not very good. Um. Everyone can wear that. Not everyone can wear that. You're already wearing that. Um. Okay.
Okay, so this is not a huge increase. So I think it's better to keep their armor as it is compared to the Jerkin. Um, I would probably say the same thing with their armor, to be honest. However, the rest of this stuff, it's all going um, to be replaced. By the way, I just want to point out, look at how much money we have. That is without any money grinding, it's just from basically from saving up. Just to prove that I wasn't, you know, talking out of my ass when I said that eventually we wouldn't have to worry about our money anymore. A lot of it also comes down to just using your money smartly, though. Yeah, because, like, we, we just spent, like, half our own money. Quite a lot on equipment, but on the other hand, we're all done with it now, so anyway, anyway, um, there's actually, ooh, ooh, sidetracked by catching. Okay, so there's actually something specific I'm looking for. Oh, wait, you know, I just skipped over that by accident, whatever. Um, wrong button. Oh, there's a something in the pot. Ah, uh, can't talk. It's a sleep bomb. That's lame. But I suppose we can sell it. Now then. Nope. Nope. Yes. Is an elixir, which is kind of garbage. Uh, but, you know, free is free. If you are entering Colosso, you don't stand a chance of winning. Because this year, both of us are entering. What's Colosso? I wonder. So, obviously, this is a fairly large. Well, it's, it's literally a merchant's town. Uh, hey, those two look familiar. Hmm. Anyway. Fled from Gondolan to the south. We lived in Lavi Levro, which is a great village until the Tolbians came. If you say so. Okay, then. Next stop. Yeah, I'm just going through it all quickly so we can get all the treasure. Um, I'm gonna be going probably talking to people in more detail on my second visit to this town because I'm gonna be coming back here li a little bit later on. Um, but I just wanna, well, I wanna pick up all the items mostly, but also there is one other thing that's quite significant to get here. Oh, hey! We found a smoke bomb in the oven? That doesn't even seem safe. Oh, whatever. I'm pretty sure I want to be up here. Not actually in here, though. I want to go over here! And I don't have move binded right now. I'm probably gonna be swapping around move and mind read quite a bit. Um, to be honest. In fact, you know, I'm gonna put this the other way around. Um. Okay, sorry about that. That's gonna be kind of interesting. Uh, what was I doing here? Replacing. Swapping them. So, I want Mind Read to be this trigger, and I want Reveal to be this trigger again. <laughs> but no, I wanted to be in here, I think. Is the thing I wanted in here? Uh, yeah, the thing I want is in here. It should be right behind this statue, actually. Nope, I was wrong. No, I, I remember now. I need to push this to block the water. Then it's on the other side, right there, the fire genie! Haha! -ha! 
And then that's four for everyone. Scorch. Okay, Scorch is an attacking Ginny, but I don't remember what its effect is. Uh, it, it just bl it just blasts them. Okay then. Uh, a lot of boosting, guard and protect, and impair. Basically, all of them affect your defenses in various manners. Protect is and guard are basically identical, except protect is probably boosted a little bit more. Uh, whereas Ivan's defensive synergy, Ward, boosts your resistance. Uh, okay then. That said, we're going a little bit long now, so I'm going to cut off here, then I'll ex continue exploring this area more next time. So until then, this has been Chaos Blue with Let's Play Golden Sun, and have a great day.